Hi! <laughs> Welcome to Coffee Chat. You like my little dude? He's my shocked face guy because today's topic is why I think the Polar Express got this wrong, right? So one thing about trains, it doesn't matter where they're going, what matters is deciding to get on. Now, I watched the Polar Express just last night with my family and that that part, it has always kind of stuck with me and as kind of being the thing that's not really, it's kind of out of place in the movie, right? And I get it, I get where they, where he's just saying, you know, the, the, the life is about the journey, it's not always just about your destination and that you have to enjoy the journey. I get that part, but I still think that that part's wrong. Um, I, I think that, so, so in the movie, if you don't know the Polar Express movie, you know, it's all about the kid who isn't so sure that he be believes in Santa Claus. So he gets up in the middle of the night, gets on the Polar Express. They go to the North Pole. He sees Santa, gets the first gift and decides that he believes. Um, and I mean, it's a great movie. Don't get me wrong. I love the movie. We watch it every year. Um, but that quote, so at the very end, as as the, the Polar Express ta is taking all the kids home, the conductor, when he drops the boy off, and we don't even know the boy's name, it's the boy, even in the, in the like, the credits, um, it's the hero boy. Um, so the hero boy gets off, and the conductor says that quote, the, the one thing about trains is it doesn't matter where they're going, what matters is getting on. Um... And, you know, you get the idea that it's this profound moment. And, and um, you know, and like I say, if, if you're thinking about just that you're supposed to enjoy the journey of life, then, then okay, I get it. But, of course it matters, right? Where they go, where the train is going. Of course it matters. Because if you get on the wrong train and you end up in the wrong destination, well, right? So... I am so sorry that I didn't introduce myself. I am Michelle Peterson. I'm a direct response copywriter, marketing consultant, and coach, and I am the founder of Exactly Right Online Marketing Agency, and we get together to talk about marketing, about success strategies, about insights uh, from Christmas movies. We, we just get together and chat. Um, so thank you for being with me. I appreciate you being here. Whether you're here live, we do this live on Facebook 8.30 um, every mo weekday morning. If you're here live, that's great. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a, a heart if you love it. Um, here's my other little guy. Here's my guy blowing you a kiss. Um, but leave me a comment. Let me know if this, if, if, you know, you agree, if you disagree, let's, let's, let's chat. And by the way, even if you're here on the replay, you can still leave a comment because I do reply to comments that are, that, um, that are put in, put in after we're, we're done live. So the destination, does it matter? Um, does it matter where your train is going? Yes, yes, especially when we're, if we're talking about marketing. So if you just jump on the train of the latest marketing strategy, if you just jump on the train of Facebook Live, if you just jump on the train of um, email, right? If you just jump on the train of direct mail, if you just jump on whatever train you're jumping on, right? Without knowing where it's going, if without knowing where it's taking you, well then yes, you're, you're, it's still going to be a journey and, and yes, it's still going to be worth something if for nothing less than to teach you something. But, but is it, is it the right move? You know, without knowing where it's going, you don't know. And without without knowing where, without having a plan of where you're going, you could just be, you could be uh, implementing something that isn't going to, going to move you forward. So yes, you're doing something, right? It's, 
you, you can argue that that's better than not doing anything at all. But, but I, I, I guess I'm just not convinced that just doing something to be doing it is what you should be doing. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, so, so I think it's so important to have that plan, that have that, that roadmap of where you're going, right? And then pick the train that's going to get you there, right? So pick the marketing strategy that's going to get you there. I mean, it sounds so simple, right? But so what kind of marketing strategy is going to, to get you there? What kind of lead generation is going to get you the, the qualified, um, ideal prospects that you want to talk to that are not going to waste your time, that are not going to be just, you know, the, the tire kickers, if you will, but that are actually going to buy from you, become your lifers. Um, what kind of customer retention strategy is going to keep them with you and continuing to purchase things from you? What kind of follow-up is going to work best for your audience, right? Is it is it postcards in the mail? Is it email? Is it texts? Um, is, it, is it connecting on social? You have to know so that you can do the right things. And, and by right things, I mean the most productive, the most cost efficient. I mean, you could, you could run Facebook ads, you know, 24 seven, but if, if you're not targeting the right people, you're just giving Facebook your money, right? Um, and will you get a, will you have some success? Yeah, you probably will. But will you have better success if you have that, that plan of where you want to end up so you know the steps to take to get you there? Um, yes, of course, you're going to have better success when you have your roadmap, when you have your plan. So now is, is the best time to plan for next year. We still have, what is this? We still have a couple of weeks left of 2016. And now's the very best time so that you can hit the ground running in 2017 and, and really move forward with your stuff. Now, if you didn't plan for 2016, did you still have some success? Yes, I'm sure you did. So I think sometimes people are a little hesitant to make the plans because they think, well, they, I think for two reasons. One, if they've never done it before, it's the case of, I've never done it before, so why do I need to, right? Um, the whole, if it ain't broke, it, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. But here, but think about this. It may not be broke, but is it giving you the, the, the most that it can, right? If your lack of planning isn't giving you the kind of results that you could be getting, with a strategic plan in place, right? So, so you have those two options. I could keep doing what I've been doing. I could implement and plan and, and really boost my efforts, right? So I think that's part of why people are, are so resistant to planning. Another thing, I, another reason I think people are reluctant to, to making that plan is their, um, they're reluctant to, reluctant to commit, right? So if I want X number of dollars of revenue, and I know that these are the steps I need to, get, to take to get there, but I'm, I'm not really sure that it really is going to work. Um, so yes, while I want to be here, and maybe it's not so much that they don't want to commit, it's that they're unsure. They don't know enough of that that it will work for them. So maybe that's that's really what 
it is not so much of a lack of commitment, but a lack of confidence in and, and a lack of knowledge in the in the strategy, in, in whatever it is that they, they're potentially going to do. Um, and I think either one of those, I mean, I hate to say that anybody's feelings or, or thoughts are invalid, but I, but I hope that you'll get past that because they're, they're, they're beliefs that are holding you back. I mean, quite frankly, they're holding you back. So if you really want to move your business forward, you have to plan. You have to have a marketing plan. And you have to then, now it doesn't have to be set in stone. Plans can change all the time. So let's take the, the train example again. You're here, you're at point A, you want to get to point B, you get on train P for Polar Express. You get on train P to take you there, right? Well, train P may have to take a detour, right? Maybe there's something in the on the tracks that makes for a detour. Well, that's great, right? Because you're you're still moving forward, things are going to happen. You're going to have to take detours. Maybe you're going to have to transfer to a different train um, in order to get to your final destination. Um, and all that is good as long as you're continuing to move forward to that final destination that you want to get to. Um, it, it's, it's all about, yes, you do have to decide to get on. You do have to decide to get on the train. But you do have to also be strategic about where is that train taking you. So um, when when you're setting out to, to, to develop your marketing plan for the year, for the quarter, if that's better for you, for the for the for six months, however you're developing your marketing plan, do think about that. And then and then, you know. It's it, everything in marketing, guys, is a test anyway. It all is. Even something that's really proven that it's been working for you for years, you're still testing it, I hope, because you still should be evaluating, is it working? Is it is it getting you where you want to go? So so when you set your, your plan in motion, when you start implementing the plan that you've developed, even then, it's still open to change because maybe it will need to change. Maybe when you try it, it just isn't working as you expect it to. It's not giving you the results you need. Maybe when you run that Facebook ad that is, you know, reaching people and getting the clicks, but but when they when they click through to your landing page, they're not opting into your list or they're not buying what you're selling. You're they're 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 not doing what you want them to do. Well, then there's there's several things that could be wrong, you know, but so you need to go back and you need to tweak that Facebook ad. Maybe you're you're reaching the right, the wrong audience. Maybe it's it's a, a disconnect between the ad and the offer on the landing page. Whatever it may be, um, you have to go back and you have to then either transfer to a different train, you need to make a detour, you need to, you know, always evaluate if if that plan is still moving you towards your final destination. And and like I said, don't don't think that you're, you know, it's so set in stone that you're committed to it forever. Of course you're not, right? Um but you do have to you do have to get on get on board, right? So, like I said, I think the Polar Express quote, it, of course, it's not about marketing anyway, right? We marketing people, we, we tend to, you know, and we writers especially, we try to, to find <clears throat> insights in, in various different things and use those insights to, you know, illustrate our point. Oh, excuse me, I have a, I have a post-it on me. Um, you know, so of course, the Polar Express was not about marketing. It is not a marketing lesson. It is more of a life lesson. However, let's, let's, why not? 
Why not use it to talk about marketing? Why not use it to, to, I hope, get you to think about your marketing that way? And, and you know, I hope that you will be strategic and purposeful in, in, in deciding what marketing tactics to use, what marketing strategies to use, and, and make sure that your train is, is going to the proper destination for you. So I hope that that has made you think a little bit. I hope that, that it um, might help point you in the right direction. If you need help in developing that roadmap and in, in trying to decide which train you need to get on to take you where you're going, please reach out. Reach out through a comment, through a message, through my, call me. Uh, you'll find my phone number. Wherever you're seeing this video, you'll be able to, to find my phone number, my Facebook page, the YouTube channel, on my website. Um, you know, wherever it is that you're seeing this, find my phone number and call me and let's, let's, let's get you on the right track to, to going where you want to go with your business, right? Um, I do have some spots opening in my coaching program, so I would love to see if we're a good fit and I'd love to work with you if we are. So, uh, Guys, that's it for today. Uh, cheers. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for being with me here today. If you have found this valuable, please share it with others. Sharing is caring. And turn on your notifications so you know when we're going live with these chats, with Coffee Chat, um, weekdays, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time because I'm in California. All right, guys, that's it for today. Have a great day and I will see you again. Oops, let me get my little guy. I will see you again tomorrow or soon and love ya. Mean it. See you later. Bye.